This morning I'm going to do a quick review of the Cuisinart DC3200 drip coffee maker. This was voted the number one coffee maker of the year by Consumer Reports. So I decided to upgrade my old coffee maker and go with this one. So it's got a stainless steel look. It looks very premium. It's a 14 cup capacity. And it's got a very nice carafe down there with that extended handle so you know it's got all the basics you've got programmed brew you can uh, choose a bold which I will do this time so you can you hold it down same way most coffee makers work you set the alarm the cool part is about this um, is that this one has the option to turn off a sound for when it's done brewing my old one didn't make any sound but apparently other models of Cuisinart they don't give you a choice and it's a really uh, annoying sound so that is a nice option so it's got a shower head with multiple water spouts so instead of having just one where it's just spilling in the middle of your coffee grounds this one's more evenly uh, dispersed so you've got it comes with a, a gold fil permanent filter Usually I use paper, but so far I'm using this one until the, they use like number four um, filters. So you've got nice quality plastic cone reservoir there. So it doesn't have a removable water reservoir like my last coffee maker. So an important thing is, does the carafe drip? So that's the little place to fill it up. Um, a knock on this some people had is that the lid for some, I don't know why they're mad. It, it doesn't pop up like, like well, it does pop up very easily just like that. It comes off to fill it up, but it doesn't like pop up for like a 45 degree angle. Those are some bad reviews. And I guess if it's like underneath the cabinet, it's probably impossible to fill it up that way. So you do have to take it out, which you have to do anyway, since the steam will probably ruin your cabinets. So. so let's see if I spill it. That was right at the end when I was trying to get all out. Because I did see one of you say that, like, there's literally impo it's impossible to get the last, like, the absolute last drop of water or coffee out of there. It just kind of stays along the rim. Not a big deal. I don't really care about that. All right, as soon as you're ready, you just hit brew. Wait, I turn off the program. Now it's going to go. So I have a little over 10 cups. It's 8.01 right now. I'll come back when it's finished. So we'll see how long it takes. All right, so it looks like it's getting to the end of the cycle. So about 10 minutes, not the quickest brew in the world, but it does a good job. So, all right, time to pour. First cup. Alright, now it sounds like it's totally mm -mm -mm. Yeah, so it's uh, nice and hot. That does a much better job of giving the coffee a full body flavor with that, uh, with the shower head. That's now, one thing I don't like about the uh, coffee maker is there always seems to be this condensation. Just so I don't know how long that water is, is there because the, you, know, you open it the next day and just it opens up and it just it all drips down. So it's just 
It's just always wet. It's not a big deal, but yeah, that's just something that's kind of annoying. All right, so this is the Queasy Nut DC 3200. So it's the number one coffee maker of the year by uh, Consumer Reports. The perfect temp. Um, I recommend it. Go ahead and get it. I think it's about 70 bucks. And yeah, check out my page. Click like if you like this video. And uh, I'll be back with more.